QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021, Export and Import Invoice and Other Form Templates. Let's get into it with Intuit, QuickBooks Pro Desktop 2021. Here we are in our test template practice file. We currently have the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view dropdown, selecting the open windows list. Now we're going to go to the lists dropdown. We want to take a look at the templates lists. We've been adjusting some of our custom templates, including this invoice up top. Now we might want a situation where we may have a situation where we want to export the template and then import it into another file. For example, we might be testing these templates in a practice file such as this. We might want to export it from here import it into our company file for use there. So how do we do that? How do we export a custom template? This is one that we have customized, the email orange target remit invoice. We're gonna be selecting that, highlighting it, and then we're gonna to go to the templates dropdown or rise up, and we're just gonna export the template. So we're gonna to go to the templates rise up, we're gonna export the template. We will then choose where we want to put it on our computer. So I'm going to put it in our test file form templates folder. I'm going to go ahead and, and then of course we can change the name of it down here. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to then uh, minimize what we have here and see what we got. So here's what the template form looks like. So here's the QuickBooks program over here. Here's our actual file. This is the QBW file that we're using. That's our data file. And here's the template file. So here's the email orange target remit. Uh, invoice and there's there's the name of the template so let's go back close this back out and let's imagine we're opening up another company and then import it back into the system so if I go back into QuickBooks let's go back into QuickBooks let's adjust this one and then I'm going to make it inactive so that I then going to import the template that I just uh, we just exported into the same into the same uh, QuickBooks file so I'm going to double click on this and let's say that uh, we manage the template and I say this is email, so on, Let's put a one before it. And then I'm gonna say uh, okay, and then okay. And then I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna make it inactive. I'm gonna say, let's make this one uh, inactive. So, and there we have it. And now I'm gonna import that same template we made right here. So I'm gonna go to the, to the templates dropdown or rise up and we're gonna go see, now we're gonna import it. Now we're gonna do the importing side of things. And then we find it on the desktop. So there it is. There it's in that same folder. We want the email orange target remit. I'm going to say OK. And there it is. We got the, uh, the formatting of it. Then I'm going to say OK. And that should put it back. So it's back. It is now back. We have now imported it. Opening this up, there's going to be our format of our uh, invoice. If I was to go down here and say include inactive items, we have the one with the one before it that was the one we exported originally. And then we changed the name and imported this one back into the system. So if you want to basically uh, test your templates, like you might have a whole nother QuickBooks file where you basically experiment with templates possibly and have different templates and you can simply export them and then import them into the files that uh, you want them to be in uh, for use. And that could be useful if you're a bookkeeper or something like that. And, uh, and, you, and you might want to set up your own list of custom templates that you then could uh, design for different customers and be able to export those custom templates and import them to the customers as as necessary but be able to house all the templates that you have put together and customized in possibly one uh, QuickBooks file.